Now today we are going to see how to filter and delete the data. Let me explain you with the help of an example. Now what you see over here in the gender column we have some missing values right. Now in case if you want to remove them all how can you do that right. So keep in mind this is not something just removing the blanks. If you have entire row blank then that that's something you can go ahead and remove it very easily. But here you have to do the removal basis on one column which has the missing value right. Or maybe not only missing values if any other value which you want to delete so let me take you quickly to the power query window all right so from here I'll go into the transform data and as soon as I'm in transform data here is my data which in which I want to make the changes number one you just come over here whatever you want to remove just uncheck that and say okay say close and apply and come back in your view here you would see that those those are those blanks are gone right so that's that's the easiest way the challenge with this is challenge or you can say the added advantage with this is the older data is still remains available when you come back over here and when you clear this you still have that data available right so if you want to remove it permanently from here what is the way for that what you need to do is whatever you want to remove all right just uncheck that okay in excel let's consider in if you have to do it in excel how would you do that you will go in this and you will select only those items which you want to delete and then you select the rows and just right click and delete that that's not how it's going to work over here what you need to do over here is here whatever the item that you want to delete that you need to uncheck so for example null values I want to delete so I will just say uncheck null okay and after this I will go in keep rows on home tab in reduce rows in keep rows and I would select keep top rows as soon as I do that I am going to get this box now here it is asking me to tell how many rows I want to keep so you see the here nine rows are visible so you can put any number greater than nine greater than or equals to nine i'm going to keep nine only so it's just say okay now those records are gone right now if you go in over here close and apply and go in your main view over here you don't see that you don't see them again right you don't see them which is pretty obvious that was working in the previous uh, method also but here also it is working now what is the difference if I again go back into the power query I would not find that data at all let, let's just give it a second and let it appear okay now if I come come back over here and if I go in my table so what I see is I don't have that I don't even have the filter button over here right that data is gone now if you of course if you want to keep bring that back you can do undo and that will appear right or you, maybe you can just remove the uh, steps which is showing over here right that will come back okay so this is how you can do now for example let's say you want to remove all the mails so what you can do is just uncheck mail and say okay and then go in keep rows say keep top rows and how many numbers that you need to write either 7 or greater than 7 so here I'm going to say 7 just say ok and you see only female data is available right and if I say close and apply then in this main data you would say only female is available just give it a second and then you will see the magic okay so now you see this is how it works so the only difference is in excel what you do is you filter those values which you want to delete and after that you after that you just delete it here you have to do it opposite way you have to filter those values with which you want to keep and then in then go in keep rows and then just say how many top rows you want to keep that is it Alright, so let me know into the comment section if it was helpful for you. If yes, then where did you use it? In what context do you use it? That will help and maybe if the context, your context was very very important, then I'll try to make a video where the same activity is involved but in that particular context. Okay, thank you very much for watching the video. Wish you very